I think we got something in the mail. You stupid. Look what we got, Toss. Wow. Oh, man. Oh, Lord, how mercy. It's windy as can be. I wonder what's in this box. Do you know? I do not know. Uh-oh. All right, let's see if we can pick it up and take it in the house. I can't believe it. Let me see. It's probably for the truck. You killing me, man! All right, let me see. I broke my back. Dang. How about you try it? You try it. What? Oh my goodness. Oh, let me open the door for you, Mr. Strong Man. You played yourself. Wow, hey. He must have ate his weeds today. Yeah. All right. What's good, TNT gang? It's your boy, Tony B, and... Roblox Ninja. Roblox Ninja. Hey, and today, we got a special video. Like y'all just seen, we got a package in the mail from LMC, so you know it's for the big red, for the truck. So let's go ahead, enough of this talking, rambling. Let's open up the box and see what's in there. Let's open the box and see what we got. We already pulled the... The staples out. Bruh. What? Yeah. I. Right. Oh. So it's nothing in here. <laughs> that what? is so upsetting. It what? It, it, it what? It yeah. It is it so is upsetting. upsetting. That's crazy, man. We got this big old box and we got nothing in it. Don't ever play yourself. What we already buy it. What? Hey. <laughs> oh, come on now, dog. I'm just playing, y'all. I already started. You know your boy, he couldn't wait. So I had to stage all that up. I got it uh, last night. And I didn't want to film at night. So here we go. This is it. The support beam in the back. I know y'all know I was putting that together uh, for the back for temporary. But we have the actual OEM support for the bed in the back. So what this is doing, this is helping me out a lot uh, with the gapping from the cab in the bed. It's helping with the height, everything. So what we're gonna do today in this video is try and see if we can get this stuff set up, you know, as best we can up front so it can match the back. Because LMC and nobody, they don't sell anything for the front. So we're gonna have to fabric. Perfect. Oh my goodness. Fabricate or jerry rig something up front so that it can match the back and height and so we can have a good looking bed, y'all. And then we'll throw some uh, aluminum on top, or not aluminum, or some uh, uh, sheet metal on top, and then we'll be done. Be done with this bed, strip it down, paint it black, and let it be. It ain't gotta be perfect, man. You know what I'm saying? This ain't gonna be no show truck, not for now. We're just trying to get it to where it look good on a budget. So let's get this thing done. So you're shaking that thing like who's the ish? All 
right, let me just, let me explain to you what y'all just saw. Y'all saw some of the worst footage I've ever filmed. You a genius. I couldn't get a good angle or whatever, but what I was doing, I had to pull that beam out from over there. So I put it on jack stands and I had to measure because if y'all can't see what side is it, one of these sides, I think it's this side. One of these sides are poked out a little bit too far from the other one. So my beams are a little bit too long. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut those down uh, and modify it so it will be the right height and so I can be done. Be done with the bed until I have to put that sheet metal on there, man. Oh, I'm sick of messing with these stupid rods because I've been doing this for the longest, man. I've been trying to get this bed situated right because I don't want it looking crazy. Because if the bed is not, you know, set up right, the whole truck is gonna be messed up. But let's go ahead and see if we can take it apart and try to stack it up to where it'll be at least a little bit rigid. You know, as rigid as I can do it because I can't weld yet. So I'm gonna take that apart and, you know, just put it back together. Sorry y'all for that horrible footage, but hey, it's all good. I know y'all still love it, right? <laughs> y'all still love it, right? Nope. <laughs> All right, gang, this is it for the, the for the bed repair. I got it outside so y'all can see the gaps a little bit better. As you can see, I got one inch going all the way down on this side. The tailgate is still kind of off a little bit. This side has a small gap on it. And as y'all can see, boy, that's a bunch of mess there. But this side, it has a one inch gap on it. And in here, you know, I got everything mounted up. Everything in here mm. looking good. So, well, that's it, guys. That's all we got. Uh, next, we will be <clears throat> trying to tackle on tuning this carburetor in here. I'm gonna show my son everything, what it takes to tune the carburetor. As much as I know, I don't know everything, but what we're gonna do, we're gonna try to do our best and tune this carburetor, this holly the best we can. I'm used to doing um, Edelbrocks, and if y'all can hear it, man, my doing allergies killing me, man. But I got a vacuum gauge over here. Got this vacuum gauge. Make sure we get the correct manifold um, pressure that we need. But hey, that's it. That's all we got today. You, what you, what you got to say to him? You got hey, something to say? Everybody. Subscribe. Make sure you subscribe, right? Yeah, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you uh comment too, right? And like the video. Comment and like the video. Alright, alright. Hey, I think that's all we got for today, guys. Like I said before, and like he said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Alright, y'all. Peace. You want my advice? Don't play yourself. And subscribe, fool. Psych!